spot. Still some way to go. Let's do it. How about this? Guys, this is Beacon Hill and it was once the most famous uh, site at Hill 4 in Hampshire at 261 meters high, I can tell why I'm already knackered but it's not a bad view still got a little way to the top so let's push on and hope that I don't pass out before we get there all that's left of the hill fort are these uh, pretty well preserved and pretty defined uh, ditches, really. Although that's not too surprising considering this is the best part of 2,000 years old. Um, so I guess it doesn't look too bad considering. So this is the beautiful county of Hampshire and if we look over here to the left uh, you will see what is known as the Down or more famously known as Watership Down from Richard Adams' 1972 novel of the same name, Watership Down. So I can't see any rabbits from here, but it's certainly a famous thing. All right, here we are. We've reached the summit, top of the Beacon Hill, 261 meters high, and it's pretty windy. And it's also at this point I realise how much I hate vlogging. But it's pretty lonely up here, uh, so my shame is kept to myself. Apart from maybe one guy. Let's go see what he has to say. Alright guys, here he is. It's your friend and mine. Edward Stanhope Molyneux Herbert, aka Lord Carnarvon. Uh, yeah, peer, aristocrat, and all round history enthusiast, best known as the money man basically behind the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. Um, yeah, he rests up here, famously potentially died from the curse of Tutankhamun's tomb. We'll never know, but he picked a pretty good spot. And thankfully, he's not going to tell anyone about this uh, cringy voiceover. So, cheers, dude. And I think that's it, guys. I'll end with a couple of vistas. But basically, check out Beacon Hill. It's, uh, it's a cool place to go. All right, peace out.